Hi everybody, welcome to the Emory's Memories channel. I'm your announcer, Gary Beatty. This channel was created to feature interviews by Ralph Emory. There are over 125 interviews by Ralph for you to enjoy on this channel. This channel has also become a collection point for rare and in some cases never before seen shows and interviews. What you're about to see is one of 14 episodes of a classic country music show created by these guys, the Lagarde Twins of Sydney, Australia. The show is called Country Style. Here's a very beautiful song that we'd like to sing for you right now, and maybe some of you folks out there are uh, taking things for granted, and maybe you're not uh, stopping to think and of your blessings. Maybe this uh, song will help to unite some of the families out there, because I think it tells a really, really beautiful and a wonderful message, one that we could all adhere to once in a while. It's called, Please Help Me Understand. A little girl prayed at the close of the day Cause her daddy had gone far away On her little face was a look of despair I stood there and listened as I heard this prayer my mommy said, Daddy has brought us to shame. I'm never no more to mention his name. Lord, take me and lead me and hold to my hand. Heavenly Father, help me understand. I wonder how many homes are broken tonight and just how many tears are shed by some little word of anger that never should have been said. I'd like to tell you a story of a family we once knew. We'll call them William and Mary and their little daughter Sue. Now Mary was a plain mother and Bill, well he was a usual dad and they had their family quarrels like everybody else, but neither one really got mad. Then one day something happened. It was nothing, of course, but one word led to another, and the last word led to a divorce. Now here were two grown-up people who failed to use common sense. They strengthened their own selfish pride at little Sue's expense. You know, she didn't ask to be brought into this world to, to drift from pillar to post. But a divorce never stops to consider the ones it hurts the most. Oh, there'd be a lot more honest loving in this wicked old world today if just a few parted parents could hear little Sue say, Ted and Tom, the Lagarde Twins. I want to tell you about their book, The Lagarde Twins, Showbiz Hustlers. Let me take you back to the beginning. These twin boys walked 15 miles across the bushlands of Australia to a tent with a dirt floor and folding chairs. As the projector started up, the movie appeared in black and white on the screen. And there, for the first time, they saw Hopalong Cassidy. They ran almost all the way home and told their mom, we're going to become cowboy singers. Let me read the introduction to Showbiz Hustlers. Being raised in the bushlands of Australia in the 1930s and 40s was a rough and hard life. We didn't think about it back then because that's how life was. You have to live the hard life to understand it. 
But we also made a picture in our minds of the kind of life we wanted to lead, and it became a beacon that has guided us on our long journey in show business. We hope and pray that our book falls into the hands of our fellow strugglers and dreamers to give them unfailing encouragement to pursue their hopes and dreams. Above all else, we want to give God all the praise and glory for our long lives and for His mercy and grace in dealing with us throughout the years. So grab the reins and ride over one million miles with us from the bushlands of Australia across seven continents through 23 countries and 45 of the 50 states in America. Let's ride. Ted and Tom Lagarde. They appeared in Vegas, movies and TV shows. And for you Trekkies out there, get this. This book is packed with pictures and stories and is a must read. We'll put a link below the video so you can get your copy of The Lagarde Twins Showbiz Hustlers. The Lagarde Twins Showbiz Hustlers makes a great gift. This book is about twin brothers from Australia who had a dream and it came true. This is Gary Beatty and as Ted and Tom Lagarde would say, Good day, mate.